What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you hear something in the background that's my nephews Hopefully it's not too busy and I'm gonna keep this video short simple and to the point So I'm going to talk about consent forms why they're needed in your business and where you can find them Bullet 10.1 where you can find them. You can actually find them on my website for $10 It does come in a page of four. I'm going to kind of just skim through the pages real quick I do have it on my iPad This is something you can use in good notes have them fill out or you can print print it out and have them fill out before you start lashing the first page is the client information so you get their name you get the style you have right eye left eye and then you got the curl type the thickness that you use the lengths that you use um, you have a section here for notes that you want to take down or like follow up no notes so that way when they come back you kind of just take out this piece of paper kind of see did the lashes last how many do they have do they have any irritation and stuff like that the client eye shape you want to kind of take notes so that way for the next time when they decide to come that you know what thickness you used what curl you used or what style did you follow how their eyes naturally are um and the application style again this is all for you to fill out so as they're filling out their consent forms you fill this out and kind of get a gist of them so when they come here you're like hey what kind of lashes do you want and then you take it from there this is just as a reminder like hey this person came two weeks ago and she got a cat eye thickness 11 or lengths 11 through 14 and so on this is just for you personal use only and then we have a client information form so again email address now I always tell my clients I don't necessarily need your address but for the first time coming you want to get their address just because this helps you kind of be legit um, and then just give you the rundown have you ever had eyelash extensions before if yes, why did you remove them? This is very important to know just because you want to know if they have irritation problems, if they have an oily face, just their lashes and didn't last. This is stuff that you need to know so that way you know how to apply their lashes. Do they wear contacts? This is big because dryness and watery eyes all play a part in how long your lashes last. Have you had any type of eye surgery within the last six months? Have you frequent, do you frequently itch, have irritation? This is a lot of basic information that you need to know again so that way you know if the lashes that you're going to apply are going to last. The next is the consent form. And this right here, my friends, is the very important part. This is, the consent form is basically giving your client, giving you the okay to work on your client. So I'm gonna read the bulletins that I have on the consent form. So I give consent to have my photograph taken of the procedure and posted on the internet for promotional purposes. Um, so this is another big part because if you take photos of your clients and you want to post them on your page, they have to give you the okay to post them. If they don't give you the okay and they're like, hey, can you take this down? You can't necessarily say no because, I mean, it is them, their personal face I guess I don't know how to say that but if they tell you no don't post it if they tell you yes go ahead and feel free to post it story I had a client who I did her lashes for a photo shoot and she came in and she was good we were like you know we were good for her lashes and out of nowhere just the agreement didn't fall through and she was like hey can you take down all my photos off of your website and off of your page and just everywhere that my photos are and I'm like sorry no I can't um where's this coming from she's like oh it's nothing personal it's just business can you take down my photos and I was just like I can't you gave me consent to post the pictures on my website on my page so no I will not take them down and she was like oh is that is that form like indefinite and I was like for the lash set that you have on for the photo that you signed for this day yes it is indefinite and I will not take them down. But now they're gone, obviously. But that's just basically give you, giving you consent to post the, on your page of the photos that you took of them. Um, I consent to the permission of the beauty process to be performed by my tech. I hereby release and discharge my tech from any claims and actions arising from any consequences of the hair removal, facial, eyelash extensions, and any beauty services provided. Again, this is not just for lashes. This can be for everything. 
I understand that my tech will not under any circumstances perform a procedure on me if I am known to have any allergies to the materials and products being used. Now with that being said, there is another form that kind of goes over if they have eye surgery, eye illness or injury, dryness, seasonal allergies, eye infection, permanent makeup kind of gives you yes and no's. Um, gender related to eyelashes, if they're allergic to anything, this is a yes or no question form. This is the last page. I understand that there will be no refunds under the circumstances of any of the procedures provided. Any procedure after the initial payment is a $20 to $100 touch up price that just varies obviously on your prices. I have been given the opportunity to ask questions about the procedure, the risk, and the hazards involved. Again, always ask your clients, hey, do you have any questions for me? You want to inform them on everything that you know so that way they are aware of what they're getting done. I have read the consent release and I understand the terms and all of its significance and agree to it voluntarily. Again, this consent form is basically telling them that they are here voluntarily. You are not forcing them, do you know what I mean? You're not forcing them to be laying down on this bed for over two hours and they know what they're coming for, so they're paying you for what they're coming for. This it, consent forms are so important, you guys. I can't stress this enough. Without consent forms, they can basically come back at you and they get one little irritation in their eye and they're like, you did this to me. You're gonna pay for it and I'm gonna sue you. Either I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna, get the cops involved i don't know people are crazy but that's what you want to stay away from so this is why you have your clients sign consent forms again you can use good notes you can use good notes buy a little pencil and have them fill it out or you can print it again it's a pdf file you can save it wherever you want print it however you want save it however you want but always have them at least on their first appointment come in and sign a consent form again the professional use one is for you so you know what style you did how you applied the lashes and to take notes again their client information so they are going to fill out three of these papers which is the client information page um, you can send them out for newsletters if you have a mailing thing that you sent out the consent form for them make sure they are signing it and you are signing it the same day. Make sure that they are filling it out completely with the address just because it saves you. Kind of make sure it's the same address on their ID just so way again, if they decide they wanna come back and sue you or something, you're covered. So this is the last page. I'm just gonna kind of skim it a little bit. I did say it earlier about like dryness, yes or no questions. So I have agreed to have eyelash extensions applied and or removed from my eyes, from my eyelashes. Before my eyelash technician can perform this procedure, I understand I must complete this agreement and provide my consent by answering all below. The following conditions may determine that you are not suitable for eyelash extensions. Again, if they are allergic to the materials contained in the glue, the materials maintained in the iPads, the material, metal, because the tweezers do touch their skin. Again, this is well all needed so you know that you're not harming your client. These forms can be found on my website, thepinkbeauty.com. I'll have everything down below. It's only $10 and it comes with printable, downloadable forms. I am so sorry about the noise. But these forms, again, very, 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 very important. If you don't have them, sign them again. They're going to come back at you. But that's basically this video. Again, having consent forms is very, very, very important. Again, you want to have this, have them fill it out, store it for later, again, so they can't come back at you. So if they are like, hey, take down my photo, I don't like it. And you're like, but it's showing the quality of your work. And you're like, you really like this video because of your work. You're gonna be like, no. And they're like, but take it out. And you're gonna be like, no, I'm sorry. You, you gave me consent that I could post and you, you allowed me to post it on my page and then you send them a picture or you send them a digital copy of their consent form and now they can't really do much because they did give you consent to post on your page. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. And I'll see you guys in my next 